hello there in this video we are going to see this particular plugin widget for social page feeds so i have created this plugin and recently i have updated this plugin so there are few changes which i have made in this plugin and that's why i am creating this video so once this video has been uploaded on youtube i will add this video here on this plugin page so you can review and see the changes so first of all this plugin is now more than 10 years old and uh, i am uploading and updating whatever changes are done by facebook and uh, it's working fine okay so last three days before three days i have just updated this plugin and i am going to show step by steps how you can configure this plugin in this video okay so first of all let's go and uh, login into dashboard i have installed this plugin and the version is 6.4 you can have a look it is the la latest version okay so once it is activated you can go to appearance widgets here you have to configure your widget so add and here go to legacy widgets or even you can uh, let me remove here you can add and search facebook page like widget okay so once you add your widget here you will automatically uh, used your automatically added this default facebook page url with title with these tabs which is timeline and few other options so here i have removed custom css option from this particular widget settings because nowadays wordpress is itself having custom css option so there is no meaning it doesn't make any sense to add this custom css option here so in recent or you can say in latest 6.4 version i have removed this custom CSS options. So you might not be able to see it if you are using this latest 6.4 version. Okay. So once you update and go to your website, you can see this is fine. This is working fine. Okay. So you might see uh, some theme related issues here, but yeah, it's fine. Okay. So now let me uh, put it here move to let me move to here let me click here so it will move above this other widget okay so now this is fine this is by sidebar widget also you can add this widget into footer as well so let me show you so now this is working fine right also you can add or you can also drag or you can move this widget so let me move to this widget to footer widget area update and it will be added to footer okay so this is working fine let me update few values so here let me change to Instagram for example Instagram okay let me update and now you can see the feeds from Instagram okay and uh, you can also select events messages and you will see these two tabs events and messages as well okay so now you can see the feeds here so this is working fine okay so uh, other options are as it is you can check this hide cover photo it will hide or it will remove this cover photo okay show friends faces so if you are logged in with facebook in this particular browser your friends whoever among your friend list has liked your page it will show here as a friends faces show small header let me update 
and C. So now you see we have this removed. So it is hiding the cover photo, this cover photo and uh, show small header. So now this height of this particular header is small. Okay. It is also adapting to plugin container width. So right now the default container width is something uh, around 320 or some pixels. We, get, we will see that later. And uh, you can also enable lazy loading. So it will improve your performance. So this is localhost. You can't see that much impact here. But uh, once you have your website hosted, you can see the difference. So lazy loading is also a good option. You can select. You can set height 500 pixel I have set and languages as well. So let me change language to let me change some other language to Japanese for example update and you will see the Japanese language. Okay. So let me move back to English English US. All right. So you see this is very easy to configure you don't have those fancy settings you just have to replace your facebook page url here make sure that this page facebook page should be without any restrictions so when i say restrictions what do i mean your facebook page should not have any uh, privacy settings your facebook page must have public it should not be uh, blocked or banned in particular region or country. So basically your Facebook page should be open. Okay. And if you go to this link developers.facebook.com and this is a page plugin which I have integrated here in Facebook. So he, you see here we have FAQs frequently asked questions and here all questions are already there with their answers so uh, let me show you what question you are so see this is why is my social plugin not visible to my site so I am getting so many emails asking the same questions like I am integrating this plugin with the uh, page URL and why it is not visible on my website so you see what they have mentioned only public content can be embedded if a post page or url has any sort of privacy restrictions it's not embeddable it applies to a like button page plugin so page plugin we are talking about and embedded post and videos so a quick way to test if a specific piece of content is embedded is to try and load it using browsers incognito or private feature so for example this is the page and you see this is uh, now public page you can access page without login let's open in incognito close this login page and you see it is accessible right so make sure your page is open your facebook page should be open it uh, it should not have any sort of privacy restrictions either country based restrictions or uh, privacy uh, you cannot make your uh, page private it should be public okay so i am getting so many emails and uh, questions in uh, your my plugin support that it's not working so this is the main reason why it is not working okay so here you have tabs timeline so you see we have these three tabs timeline events and messages so most of the times timeline is enough but it depends on your requirement you can also select events and messages this is the title so you can add it as per your requirement and if you remove this if you deselect this you will be asked to set the width okay so right now the width is uh, let me remove so this is this 300 is width i have set so you need to make sure that whatever width you are setting here should be visible should be proper for your widget either it it can be in in footer or it can be in sidebar 
okay so be sure the width is proper so most of the times if you set is to adapt to plugin container width it is it should work fine for you okay so these are the settings you need to configure so once you install and activate this plugin add widget it will take hardly one or two minutes to configure it make sure that you have valid facebook page okay apart from this you can go to this particular short codes you can add short code here so let's go let's go to pages here this is sample page let me edit and here you see i have added this short code so fb underscore widget you see here fb underscore widget is the short code name with this short code you can pass fb underscore url and the url of your facebook page so once you set this open your page and you see it is properly embedded you can use it or you can just update it so let me change it to something else facebook upload and refresh so it is now uploading the facebook page so again you must have valid facebook page for short code as well and with this short code fb underscore url parameter or you can say uh, we have other parameters as well like width height and few others so whatever is your requirement you can check this faq on my plugin page and configure short code okay so this was uh, another change one more thing i would like to share here uh, let me go to widgets so here in widgets before i had uh, this application id you see here facebook application id so when I created this plugin uh, before few years, Facebook had this Facebook application ID compulsory uh, to configure this plugin. So at that time I have uh, in, in that in that phase, I created this Facebook page ID, Facebook application ID, and you can you could use it, right? But in the recent updates, they have removed this application ID, Facebook application ID. So you don't require Facebook application ID to use this plugin to use this widget for social page fits and uh, you just have to configure properly with proper facebook page url okay so uh, this was the major update okay apart from this uh, this plugin is very simple to use you can uh, you will you will be able to configure it without so much trouble okay so that's all for this video i hope uh, this will help you if you are new to my channel, please go to my channel. Uh, the channel name is Code Canvas. You can go to the channel. Yeah, this is my channel. There are more than 299 videos you can see I have uploaded. And uh, let's go to playlist here. I have created many playlists based on WordPress chat GPT integration. A uh, few videos are on CSS properties, JavaScript as well as css selectors so if you are uh, learning your uh, web development or wordpress please have a look and don't forget to subscribe my channel all right feel free to leave your comments and uh, see you next time